Hi, I am Seppa from Septentrio. In this video, I will show you how to use Autopilot and connect an Asterix OEM receiver with the Pixhawk using the robotics interface board. Make sure the receiver is powered with at least 3.3 volts. You can use either the micro USB connector or the cable labeled power and ground on the 44 pin cable of the robotics interface board. Now connect the 44 pin cable to the robotics interface board and connect the 6 pin connector to the UART and I2C port of the Pixhawk 4. Now download the latest autopilot firmware from the Septentrio GitHub. Go to github.com forward slash Septentrio GNSS and open the Septentrio autopilot repository. Go to the latest release and download the source code zip file. Build this code for the Pixhawk 4. The instructions on how to do this are available in the autopilot documentation. Now connect the Pixhawk to the PC using a micro USB cable. In Mission Planner, select the port corresponding to the Pixhawk and click Connect. Make sure the power rate matches the one of the receiver which is 115 200 by default. After successfully connecting to the Pixhawk 4, select the config tab from the top and open the full parameter list. Now search for GPS type 2 and set the value to 10 to select SBF as incoming data format. Also make sure that the serial 4 baud parameter is set to 115 and that the serial 4 protocol is configured as value 5 for GPS. Finally, you can also switch off the autopilot automatic configuration by setting GPS auto config to 0. After applying all the settings, click on write parameters to save the settings to the memory. Now open the receiver's web UI and define an SBF data stream on COM2 with an output rate of 10 Hz. Select the SBF messages Pivoted Geodetic, DOP, Velkov Geodetic and Receiver Status. After this, you can save the current configuration in the memory of the receiver to make sure that the receiver does not lose its configuration after power cycling. Now the Pixhawk should be able to receive SBF data through the serial COM2 part of the receiver. On the flight data screen, the GPS2 status should now be displayed, along with the location indicator on the map. In this case, the screen reports 3D fix for GPS2 to indicate a standalone solution. Congratulations! Now you can use Artopilot with the most accurate GNSS receivers. To learn more about RTK and Mission Planner, go to the Septentrio customer support website. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.